I acknowledge the Honourable Minister, Christopher Finlayson. Mr Speaker, I too want to welcome members of Mani Apoto to Parliament for this very significant occasion. When dealing with third readings of treaty bills, it can often be too easy to indulge in superlatives to describe what we've achieved working together, but I know that this is a joyful and a very noteworthy day for those involved in this negotiation. And as I look up into the gallery, I see the familiar faces of people who, uh, without their hard work and sacrifice, uh, we would not have been in this position today. Uh, I particularly want to acknowledge the leadership of Tiffa Bell throughout the course of these negotiations. He's a gentleman, of course, but a tough and determined negotiator for his iwi. I also acknowledge the Honourable John Luxton, Chair of the River Authority, and thank him for the wonderful work that he and his team are already doing. Mr Speaker, one noteworthy feature of the bills we debate today is that they all involve rivers, the Rangitaiki, the Waipa, the Mohaka uh, and the Waiapu rivers. There are slightly different co-governance mechanisms. Uh, they have been carefully constructed to reflect the needs and the realities of the particular river system. And as uh, Acting Minister for the Environment, I want to acknowledge my friend and predecessor Nick Smith because without his keen intellect and his wonderful support, uh, I would not have been able to develop these forms of innovative redress. I say what follows with the greatest of respect and affection, but I have to say that sometimes I get the feeling that the Greens think they have a monopoly on wisdom and virtue on the subject of rivers. But these developments uh, show that both Labour and national governments have recognised the need for our rivers to be restored, and this government is determined to see this happen. Indeed, just last Friday, I was in, on the outskirts of Tamranui with members of the Whanganui Iwi looking at that great river, uh, and increasingly I'm involved looking at issues relating to the Kaituna and the Manawatu, and I'm learning all about sluis, which of course Shane Jones would know are sustainable land use initiatives. No, that's a slightly different topic. So uh, uh, issues that are increasingly consuming my time as Minister for Treaty Negotiations uh, and in the acting environment role. But let's address the river of the moment, the Waipa River, because that river uh, is at the heart of the community uh, and a healthy Waipa River sustains abundant life from prosperous communities who in turn are responsible for restoring and protecting the health and well-being of the river and all it embraces for generations to come. A healthy Waipa River also benefits the Waikato River and the greater Waikato region. As uh, Nanaya Mahuta said in her speech, there simply cannot be a healthy Waikato River without a healthy Waipa River. Of achieving this objective will not always be easy, but this bill takes us a step further along the road to our shared goal, the restoration of the protection of the health and well-being of both rivers. And I know that working together uh, with the authority working under the leadership of John Luxton, we can achieve this. But, Mr Speaker, the vision goes further. It makes sure that our children can enjoy the river as we do today and that they will have the full fruits of what the river has to offer. This will be done with an integrated, holistic and coordinated approach to the management of natural, physical, cultural and historic resources of both rivers. Through its co-governance and co-management arrangements, this bill will allow for the restoration and protection of the relationship of Maniapoto with the Waipa River, which, as I said, is part of one river system with the Waikato River. 
It will also cement the, the relationship of Waikato River Iwi according to their tikanga and kawa with the Waikato and the Waipa River. So, Mr Speaker, we have an opportunity not only to improve but to revitalise both these rivers and Maniapoto's input is absolutely essential if we're going to make that successful. This bill will not only enhance significant sites but also protect fisheries, flora and fauna. This bill recognises that the rivers aren't just essential to the economic and environmental well-being of the region, uh, but they are of strategic benefit to New Zealand as a whole. The vision of the river will also see the restoration of water quality uh, so it is safe for people to swim and take food from the river over its entire length. The vision also sets out how the river can be a hub for the community uh, and with improved access to the Waikato and Waipa rivers, how it can be used and promoted for sporting, recreational and cultural activities. All of this is possible if there's a strategy to match this vision. Uh, I know that working with Maniapoto, not only do we have the strategy, but we have the team, we have the people who will work to implement it a team who are going to be dedicated to achieving the ultimate objective of creating a river uh, that is there for future generations to use and enjoy. And I acknowledge what Ms Mahuta said about the $10 million. As Acting Minister for the Environment, I was sorely tempted to sweep in and see if I could uh, augment that fund, but I think that would be abuse of my, uh, of my powers. Uh, but she's absolutely sure. right. We, we make a start. We see how the clean-up goes, and in the fullness of time, it may have to be reviewed. By ensuring Maniapoto a position on the co-governance entity, we're further establishing the relationship between the Crown and Iwi, working in good faith to enhance the environment and establishing a lasting organisation that can build the foundations for the future. The co-governance entity uh, is made up of, of appointees from Maniapoto, Waikato Tainui, Te Arawa, Tuwharitoa, Rokawa and the Crown. And together we're going to work to ensure that our shared vision will once again make this most beautiful of rivers uh, uh, an economic and cultural hub of the community. Mr Speaker, in conclusion I acknowledge the enthusiasm, the hard work and the leadership of the negotiators. Uh, they have uh, provided the foundation that's allowed us to get to this point. All of that hard work will now lead to the improved management of the river. This legislation will be the basis of and establish a new and rekindled relationship between Maniapoto and the Crown, a relationship which is based on mutual trust, cooperation and respect for the principles of the treaty. Their relationships, I think, all New Zealanders can rightfully take pride in. With, the money, with Maniapoto now rightly part of the co-governance and co-management of the Waipa uh, and the Waikato rivers, a more prosperous and just future is assured for all. Finally, I respond to the concluding words of Nanaya Mahuta uh, and acknowledge that this great iwi has done so much to advance this settlement and assure her uh, that during the term of this government uh, we will move together toward the resolution of the comprehensive treaty claim. And so I'm very much looking forward to sitting on the opposite side of the table of Mr Tiffer Bell and dealing with those issues before 2014. I call the Honourable Shane Jones.